The swing stop is another super simple idea that makes work on the panda router even faster and easier than ever. Set it up by pushing the lever knob through the hole in the stop, then install the fender washer and T-track nut. For tenons up to 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters long, locate the T-track nut in the fourth slot from the front of the table. For tenons up to two and three quarter inches long, located in the third slot from the front. Let's watch the process of making tenons on both ends of the workpiece using the swing stop. Start by finding the center using the thickness gauge. Then locate the swing stop in the fourth slot from the front of the table for tenons up to inch and a half long. And clamp the workpiece to the table. and swing the stop out of the way. Next we'll gently bump the router bit to the end of the workpiece and then set the depth of cut. In this case it's going to be one inch. And now we'll cut our first tenon. After you cut your first tenon, release the clamps and either rotate or flip the piece for the tenon on the other end. Push the piece to the swing stop, clamp and cut. It's that easy. Using our depth stop to set depth of cut and our swing stop to locate your workpiece, the tenons are perfectly repeatable. These two tenons were within half a thousandth of an inch. <laughs> we had a project with 24 cuts on the ends of 12 work pieces, so we set up the swing stop for a three quarter inch long by half inch thick and two inch wide tenon. With the swing stop in the fourth slot on the table, we cut all 24 tenons in about 12 minutes. Each one was absolutely perfect. We would love to see how you use your swing stop, so send us photos and post on your social media channels to share your experience with others. We can't imagine a faster way to accurately repeat tenons, plus the new swing stop is really safe and fun to use. Happy Panda routing!